What did you feel it took for you guys to fend off a pretty relentless Bruin squad all night? Well, uh, we were, obviously we needed good goaltending. We got that, but we knew they were going to come out early and they did. And they, they scored the first goal and we had to survive that. Um, and then we had some timely goals tonight, you know, our power play, uh, hit on some timely goals. Um, they made a couple of mistakes and we capitalized and that's, uh, but we, I, I, I felt like we ended up when we got up to uh, our fifth goal. I felt that we started backing up a little bit, and and, and we can't play that way. We got to play a little bit on our toes, a little bit more. So uh, we'll get that corrected. But uh, we knew it was going to be a tough building. You knew you were going to get their A game, and I felt they did. They they brought their A game. Go ahead, Molly. And you touched on it a little bit, but what did you make of the power play tonight? Were there adjustments, or was it just the circumstances? Yeah, no, we made some adjustments, and the guys executed on those adjustments. So. Um, that's what playoff hockey is all about. It, uh, it is about uh, minor adjustments. They're, you're not going to have anything too drastic, uh, but some minor adjustments. And, uh, you know, we were able to, to hit on some of them. Arthur Staple, The Athletic. Very specifically, it seemed like flopping uh, Pajot and Nelson really helped you kind of stabilize things through the middle part of the game. What, what kind of prompted that? move for you to well, I just, I just felt that they were they were uh you know it was giving them a little different look uh, i thought it was giving us uh, uh a little little boost in the middle and then uh, we had some some draws on the right side and instead of just changing the whole line it was just changed to uh, one person so that, that was the, the the mainstream of it and then i just stuck with it for a while good arthur um Bruce Cassidy seemed to be very upset tonight post game with the officiating. I think he referred to your team as the New York Saints. Uh, I'm not really sure how, how what context that was in, but did you'll you have feel to the official? You'll have to ask him about that. I know that. Uh, uh, just look at where we ended up uh, during the during the year. I think we were the one of the least penalized teams in the whole league. So I don't know what he means by that. Oh, you'll have to ask him. Brian Compton, NHL.com. All right, I know you've said uh, multiple times that Anders isn't coming back in these playoffs, but what does it mean to the group to have him out there this morning and just having him along for this ride that you guys are on? Thanks. It, it means a lot. They see, uh, you know, Anders is a, is, a, is a real good leader, and uh, he's back skating, and he will not return in the playoffs. So uh, unless we play uh, until September, he's not playing. But uh, it is really good. You see how he's putting in the work, how he's supporting the guys, and he's around, and a uh, really good influence on on the whole group. And, uh, you know, that's what, what leadership is. So... Um, yeah, it's really encouraging that, uh, you know, he's putting in the work and, uh, but he has a long road. I mean, he had a very tragic injury and a very serious one. So he's going to put some long, long, hard, uh, hours in, uh, all summer. Andrew Gross, Newsday. Hey, Barry, um, you know, off that start, it's one, nothing. It was almost two, nothing on, on Marchand putting it through the crease. I, I'm sure the players knew they were kind of on their heels. But when you call the, the timeout, what do you try and reinforce there, um, you know, to kind of get them back on the rails, as you would say? Well, A, uh, just remind them what, what we were seeing. Uh, we were seeing that we were, we, were giving up, we were giving up lines easily, too much space, backing up, uh, you know, almost a, um, you know, I think, you have to play to win. We were, we're backing up and, and I don't, I don't like that. That's not our style. We want to go forward. So I just said, let's get back to our game. Let's get back to our, our, our game of, of pushing forward. And, and uh, I thought we, we stabilized that pretty, pretty well. I thought the last uh, five minutes, our guys did an excellent job. Anthony Fuccilli, MSG. Barry, what does it say about your team's mental toughness and, and, and your, uh, your ability to stay calm and poised, even when everything's being thrown at you and find a way um, I, I, it, it, they're, they're a veteran group and they, uh, they rely on each other. Um, and I think we do stay pretty calm. Uh, there's times where we're like a duck over on water, the feet are moving like crazy, but I think we're, we're able to stabilize, you know, you know, this, this is a very good team. This Boston team is, is got lots of character. They got great players. I mean, you know, you're going to have some hall of fame guys there and they, they played extremely hard. Um, they threw a lot of pucks towards our net. They, they did a lot of, a lot of things that they are known for. And, uh, we found a way in a real tough environment to get that done. And at the end of the day, that's, that's, there's only one stat that you can count. It's not the shots on goal. 
it's the it's the uh, the score clock in the uh, and we were able to do it and we we had opportunities tonight and we capitalized and uh, we were able to get a win so you you win games different ways and this group has learned that over the uh, the course of the the playoffs so. Um, but to get the fourth one, it's it's the toughest game. Boston's going to bring their A game. We're going to have to bring our A game, and and uh, we'll just leave it at that. Ian McIntyre, Sportsnet. Barry, how much does uh, all the experience that your team has gained in, in the playoffs the last three years, how much does that come to bear in a third period like this where obviously your, your team's not playing the way you like, yet they find a way to, to close out a win? Well, I think it's it's invaluable. You know, you don't get an experience. I mean, this is game. Timber, you're gonna have to help me. Forty two or forty three in the last couple of years. So this group's been together for the most part. You go through different experiences, and you, it doesn't always go the way you you map it out or the way you you want it. And so you just understand that you got to break the game down into into smaller micro type of uh, of pieces and. You know, like they like the end of the game. Okay, we're still up. We just got to break that down to the last five minutes. And if we do it right, then we can come up with a victory. And that's sort of what we did. And we managed the, you know, it was uncomfortable. They made us uncomfortable. Um, you know, the way they played, they played very well. And, uh, but we didn't panic. There's a, there's a calmness about our group. And that's, to me, uh, experience is instead of worrying about all the things, I think what experience does is it doesn't matter if it's hockey or it's in life experience just lets you focus in on four or five things that are the most important and everything else will fall into place. The inexperience is when it's chaotic and you're, and you're worried about 10 or 12 or 15 other things and it, and it, uh, it doesn't become calm. It becomes very chaotic. So I think that's what the, the playoff experience has allowed us to do is that we can just, you know, get refocused on get the next happening, the next event. And and that's that's probably what it's done for us. Last one here, Bruce Beck, NBC. Barry, speaking of refocus, Jordan Everly said the last one is the hardest one to get. Yeah, it is. Do you have to do, do you have to reinforce that with your guys or do you think that they they know and understand especially with what they've gone through over the last couple seasons? Um, they, they know, they understand that they'll be ready and both teams will be ready and it'll, uh, uh, you know, you just gotta, we just gotta focus on, you know, the next game and, uh, and, uh, you know, go from there. That's all you can do. You, this one's in the, in the, in the, we're going to enjoy it for about 10 minutes and then we'll just move on.